All right, so I'm standing behind the camera, and the reason why is because I'm going to put a sheet in front of you here in just a second, but I want to talk, last time that, that you were in class, we talked about uh, loan amortizations and a loan amortization table, okay? What we're going to look at today is we're going to talk, we're going to look at high interest loans, okay? And um, I don't know if I've told you this before, but uh, R.C. Willie, I'm going to pick on R.C. Willie a little bit. They're not the only ones that do this, trust me. But R.C. Willie will do financing on their furniture, right? And so I walked into R.C. Willie one day and I said to R.C. Willie, hey, um, I would like to get a, the terms of your financing. And so they handed me a flyer that showed the terms of their financing. So this is, this is what I'm putting in front of you now is the terms of financing at R.C. Willie. Okay, this is the, the handout that they gave me when I walked in and asked them for the terms of their financing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in on a, on, a, on a part here. I want you to notice something. This is the APR. Do you see what the APR is for a loan at R.C. Willie? That is 21%. Okay, The annual percentage rate for buying furniture at R.C. Willie is 21%. So last time we amortized the loan, and I said, okay, let's look at the APR. And I said that you can get, you know, save money on interest by um, getting a better interest rate. This is why RC Willie makes more money on the financing of their furniture than they do the furniture itself, right? Let's say that I have a living room set that I want to buy from RC Willie, and let's say that furniture set is ten thousand dollars. Okay. Well, RC Willie has some costs. Excuse me. <coughs> Too much talking. <coughs> RC Willie has some costs um, to uh, to produce that furniture. They've got to they've got to buy the wood. They've got to buy the leather. They've got to buy the, the you know the foam to put inside of it. They've got to pay workers to sell it. They've got to pay workers to put it together to manufacture it. Right. And so they have some costs. So let's say that there's a hundred percent markup on that furniture. And they built it for $5,000, you know, but plus all of their overhead. So they made a $5,000 profit off of the sale of that furniture. Okay? Now, I want you to understand because what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, let's look at the financing of that. So, trust me, folks, if you walked into RC Willow, you could easily spend. $10,000 on, on a living room set or something of that nature. So when I say $10,000, let's, let's just look at this, okay? Now, let's talk about payments. Now, you know, th this again where we said, hey, if you make a payment, you know, a bigger payment, you'll pay it down faster. Um, I I'm actually going to go with $300 a month because I'm worried about what's going to happen if we do anything less than that, okay? Interest paid, all right? Principal paid. And our new balance. Okay, so the APR, if you remember, the, the terms of their financing was 21%, right? Okay, so this is why I wouldn't do $200 a month, because 21% of $10,000 in that first year is $2,100. If we paid $200 a month, we would only pay down the principal by $300, and it would take us forever to get that thing paid off. See what I mean? So we're going to do $300 a month, which is $3,600, okay? We had $2,100 of that go to interest, and so we had $1,500 go to the principal, okay? So our new balance on this loan is $8,500, right? So let's go to year number two. $8,500 is our new balance, right? We're paying $300 a month, okay? All right, let's do our, um, let's do our, uh, K 
calculate our interest. So we're going to do 8,500 times 0.21. So our interest is going to be 1,785. Okay. So 3,600 minus 1,785 equals our principal is going to be 1,815. Okay. So our new balance will be that minus that. So Six thousand six hundred and eighty-five. All right. Now, six thousand six hundred and eighty-five. Okay, and we're timesing that by point two one. Right. Sorry, we're going to put our payment three thousand six hundred, and we're going to pay. We're going to round up to one thousand four hundred and four for the interest that we paid, okay? So if I did 3,600 minus 1,404, my, my principal amount that I paid was 2,196, okay? So my new balance is gonna be 4,489. Okay, we're still paying 3,600, so now we're gonna figure the interest on 4,489, so that's times 0 0.21. And that's gonna be 942, okay? So 3,600 minus 942 equals 2,658. So our new balance is gonna be That minus that, which is going to be 1,831. So now, this is the, going to be the last year, okay? So, and I, I, would pay, I would pay it off faster than that full year, so I would pay a little bit less interest, but we're still going to amortize it annually. So I'm going to do 1,831 times 0.21, and that's $384, okay? So the principal was 1,831. That's how much was left, right? So that plus 2,215 is what I'll end up paying for that year. My new balance is zero, okay? Now, this is what I want to do right now. I want you to add up these numbers here. Let's add those up. Let's do 2,100 plus 1,785 plus 1,404 plus 942 plus 384. That's 6,615. That's how much you pay in financing that for that furniture. So remember I said earlier, Hey, you know, you, you, you go to R.C. Willie, you go to things like that, and, um, you know, you end up paying, um, you know, a, a lot more in interest than you do the actual, you know, so they, they made more money. Look, they made a $5,000 profit on that furniture if it was 100% markup, but they made $6,615 on the financing, okay? So that's crazy, right? Um, now, I'm going to, probably a better way to do this, but that's all right. I'm, I'm going to pull down this screen and I want to show you, um, I want to show you, like, when we talk about high interest loans and things, um, I just, I want to give you an example of, of what's out there, but um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the lights. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, try to focus in on that screen a little bit. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to take you to some websites where um, they have some high interest loans. And I'm, I'm going to show you exactly, um, I'm going to show you from their website, I'm going to show you what they are charging in interest on these loans, okay? 
And so, you know, I, I, I showed you the flyer that R.C. Willie handed to me that shows what the terms of their financing is. And, and we're looking right now, and this is what I'm trying to illustrate to you, is high interest loans here, okay? Now, what I'm about to show you is I'm about to show you the website for Czech City, okay? And... Uh, website for Czech City, and I, I want you to guess first, okay? And, and I, I, this, this, this is little, just a little activity. It works a little bit better if we did it live, okay? But I want you to try to guess for me right now. What do you think the APR is at Czech City? Okay? What is the APR? Okay? If the sub wants to pause the video right now and, and uh, Maybe brainstorm a little bit. What do you What do you think? It is? I want to hear what some guesses are. Okay, um, what do you think the APR is at Check City? Make a guess. All right, now let's go check it out for ourselves. There's one on the corner right here in American Fork, Utah. Right? Okay, these are pay. They call them payday loans. All right. Um, payday loans in American Fork, Utah. Let's go to their website here. Okay. Oh, you need you need quick cash? We can help you out. There's payday loans, right? Let's go to locations. Let's go to Utah. Oh, here in Utah. Let's see what we got. Um, oh, let's go to American Fork, Utah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. There's American Fork, Utah. So let's go look at their store rates and fees. Okay. This is their website. This is, I'm showing you right here. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I can, no, you can see that, fine, I, I'm betting, okay? Can you see that APR? Okay, this is the annual percentage rate, okay, right here. The annual percentage rate, if it, I'm gonna go back to the camera and I'm gonna zoom in on that. That is 460% percent a 464 percent APR that is their APR and you saw I went straight to their website right there okay the annual there's the there it is right there the annual percentage rate if you were to go get a payday loan from Czech City you would be paying an APR of 464%. Folks, I, when, you, you, when you hear about loan sharks, this is what they're talking about. This is, I mean, people want to talk about the morality of it, things like that. I am a finance guy, I think this is morally wrong, okay? Um, but uh, that's, that's, that's from their website, okay? Imagine what it would look like if we were to amortize that loan, okay? And this is where people get into financial trouble. We've, we've talked about rich and able, right? And, you know, when, when, when they, they were to lose their job, if rich were to lose his job, he has money and savings to be able to take care of things. If able loses his job, he may have to go to a place like Czech City to be able to you know, pay this or pay that. And you'll get a lot of people to say, oh, well, if you're going to Czech City to, you know, to get some money to pay your water bill because they're going to turn your water off if, if you don't get it paid. If you're going to a, a place like Czech City to borrow money, you're already in a world of hurt. Okay? And there's probably some financial, uh, financially drastic situations going on. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't turn to Czech City for advice and for help, okay? These are, these are what are called payday loans. And guys, I'm picking on Czech City right now, but do me a favor. If you were to drive down State Street in American Fork, Utah, and just look for payday loan places, they are all over the place. And you're like, there's so, yeah, there are people using these places, obviously, 
because there are lots of them and they're doing very well, okay? And, and, and how they understand interest, oh gosh, are they earning it, okay? Um, and so, um, this is, we're talking about high interest loans and, um, and consumer loans. When, when you borrow, there, there are some situations, and I, I want you to write this down in your notes, this is where Dave Ramsey might argue with, with me a little bit, but there's, in, in my opinion, there's good debt and bad debt, okay? And, and, and good debt, here's, here's, I want you to define this in your notes, okay? And here's how Mr. Kelly, this is my definition of good debt, okay? If you go into debt for something that increases in value, I consider that to be good debt, okay? Generally speaking, when you buy a home, you're going to go into debt to buy that home, right? And so I would say, hey, you know, that's, that's good debt. Go into debt, buy a home, what's going to happen to the value of that home? It's going to increase in value, okay? Cars are kind of that one that's like right there in the middle. Like what happens to the value of your cars? It goes down. You kind of need your cars to get to work and to take care of things, which increases your value in terms of your ability to make money. So cars, you know, be careful about going into too much debt for cars because they can be a black hole, okay? Um, and education, when you, when you, when you borrow, again, we talked about student loans and borrowing money to go to school careful that you don't accumulate a, a lot of debt but that, you know I look at you have to accumulate a little bit of debt to get that degree and to finish up okay I don't I don't know that it's horrible okay be careful that you don't accumulate a lot of debt by going to school all right but bad debt there's a lot of bad debt like I mentioned cars can be bad debt especially if you get a really expensive car um, you know you uh, buy furniture at R.C. Willie and you go into debt to do it, that's, there's no question, that's bad debt. When you go into credit card debt, credit cards are, are charging you on average between 15 to 30 percent on a credit card, okay? 13, you know, a 15 percent APR, go amortize that loan. A 30 percent APR, go amortize that loan, and that's credit cards, and you want to stay out of credit card debt, that's bad debt. You know, and people are like, well, I'm accumulating points and other things. Well, be careful, okay? Um, credit cards, you know, you can use them in positive ways, convenience and other things, but if, you, if, it, if it becomes debt, it's bad debt, no doubt, okay? Um, so good debt is when you go into debt for something that increases in value, okay? Bad debt is when you go into debt for something that decreases in value. So make sure you have those two things written down in your notes, good debt, bad debt. A loan from Check City, a payday loan, bad debt, no doubt, no question, okay? So be careful about borrowing money and accumulating debt. Be rich.